Okay. Okay, today we are going to be making these what I call tutu little flower bows, I guess. They're not really bows, but that's what I call them. They're called tutus. I think they're cute and they look remind me of a little flower and you can put different sequences on them and stuff. So I'm going to show you how to make these today. You can uh, um, make bigger ones if you would like. But I'm going to start off and I'm going to show you how to start off making them. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need what they call tool. You can buy this at your local Walmart or any type of fabric store. I have, I believe it is one yard here. The way I do mine is I do mine a little bit different. You're also going to need a ribbon. Um, you can use ribbon, you can use wire, you can probably use, I've also used thread. Um, you can use anything like that to tie them with. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun which you may want to go ahead and um, have your hot glue gun warming up while you're getting ready to make these. Okay, this is one yard and what I normally do is when you get it from Walmart, they will have it folded like this. I unfold it, then what I do is I roll. I keep rolling until I come to the end. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab it depending on how big you want your flower to be is about how wide you are going to cut this i don't want mine very big so i'm going to go at about this size right here which this tool that i hit this tool that I have is kind of thick. Then you're going to come up with this. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the end and you're going to start off right here at the end and you're going to bunch. And what you're going to do is you are going to do this. You are going to make like bunches of it now you want to make sure that your ends are straight when you're doing this because what happens if you do not get them straight what will happen is your flower will end up lopsided so at the ends try to keep them pretty straight but you don't have to, I mean if they're a little bit off you're not gonna be able to really tell I'm mainly doing this to kind of demonstrate to you how I made mine because I thought they were really cute and so right now my son is actually videotaping this for me because I thought it was cute. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to have it like this in your hand, then you're going to take a piece of string or, or whatever you have to actually tie this. I've also actually used um I I've, I've used thread to tie it, whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter because once you get it done, it's really cute and you're not really going to see it. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie you're going to make a big old tight do it really tight, pull real tight. Then you're going to you want to double knot this to make sure that it does not come untied. Double knot it. Then what you're going to do is you want to take your scissors and cut off the excess. Then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of do this. You kind of want to make your flower like I'm doing, kind of. Then you are going to grab the petal 
what I call a petal, and you're going to pull the mesh out like this. So when you're done, what it's going to look like is it's going to look like this. And what you want to do is you want to do this all the way around your flower. And when I mean all the way around your flower, I mean all the way around, okay? Because this is what makes your flower and it's what's going to make your flower be puffy. So you have to do it to every single petal. Because that's what, which if you can see right here, right here is where I started. You can see how it's starting to puff. And you will also notice on some of it may look doubled. And it doesn't matter which way that you actually pull the tool. You can go right, left, go either either direction. And it doesn't really matter when you start pulling it apart. You know, because there's going to be double tool here. Depending on how, how thick your tool was when you bought it. So all you're going to do is you're just going to unravel it like this. And you're going to go all the way around it, like I said, until you are done and it looks like this. But you're not going to have the middle yet. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pick out whatever you want for the center. You can pick out any type of button that you would like. As you can see, I have a wide variety of buttons to choose from. And I think with my white one, I'm going to pick this one. Because I kind of want it to look like a daisy when I'm done. And what you're going to do is some of them do come with backings. They are actually a button. And what you're going to do is you can take your scissors and kind of just snip the backing off. And then what you're going to do is take your hot glue gun and hot glue the bottom of this and stick it right in the middle. But that's after you go around and you pull out all your tool. As you can tell, mine isn't all the way done yet. But that's, that's the process of making it. And then what you want to do is you want to grab either your... You can use little clippies or you can use alligator clips. And then what I do is I line all of my clippies with um, ribbon. And then what I do is I take my hot glue gun and I glue it to the back of the tool on the side that I'm not going to use. And then I just hot glue my little, my little doodly daddly right to the front. So it will look like that when I'm done. And that's about it. Well, stay tuned to, for my other videos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Have a great day.